Alex Yu Show 300 seconds of daily wisdom to inspire you to live a life worth living. Healthful, joyful, and meaningful. Hello, my dear friends. I'm Alex Yu, and this is Alex Yu Show, where we inspire you to live a life worth living. Today, we're talking about mindful parenting, and the topic in this group, in this category, the topic today in these 300 seconds is why 99% of all parents, or pretty much all parents, um, feed their kids in a wrong way. And we're gonna look at three different big problems here. Number one is the first foods that we give to our, well, babies, when they start eating solid foods. Now, a lot of doctors and, and, and a lot of places recommend, oh, well, how about eggs or something, um, you know, like a piece of toast or, or even a piece of meat right away or pureed meat. Listen, this is extremely important. Look at the mother's milk. The consistency of mother's milk, most important part is water because it varies slightly between mothers, but it's north of 90% water. So, that means that the foods that we need to transition into need to be the closest to that consistency that have a lot of water naturally in them. And that limits it to two kinds of foods, fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables. They have the closest consistency to water amount as mother's milk, as opposed to giving them a, a hard boiled egg as a first food. Eggs are extremely difficult to digest. They're solid foods or a piece of cheese or something like that. That's why kids will have, oh, my kid have allergies or problem with the stomach, cries all the time, etc. Well, of course, a piece of, of uh, meat or, or, or egg or, or cheese this is extremely challenging to be digested. The protein in egg particularly is extremely difficult to be digested. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those foods, but they shouldn't be the first food that we're giving to food. It needs to be something much gentler and nice on the system, like a piece of fruit or a piece of vegetable. And they're very palatable, particularly the fruits that have so many goodies for your kids, for your children. The second thing is that we give um, uh, uh, baby foods or baby products to our kids. Now, yes, there's variety of different, whether it's baby formula or as the baby grows, um, different kinds of packaged foods all the way to little uh, things that they can take to school. Yes, among those, there's a lot of good products out there, but the majority of them have a lot of chemicals, a lot of, um, well, we can even say the word garbage in them that are not meant to go in, your bo in, your, in the body of your kids. Because it's really difficult to be digested and creates a lot of health issues along the way. That's why kids nowadays have a lot of allergies, they have a lot of health issues. Because a lot of those baby products, baby foods, even advertised as good, they carry a lot of sugar, a lot of um, derivatives of sugar, a lot of chemicals, genetically modified stuff, antibiotics, etc. Best avoided, again, fruits, vegetables, nuts, or something prepared at your house, something that you cook, you prepare, is tons better than anything that you can buy for your um, children outside. Now, there's no other alternative, I understand, but even then, if there's no alternative, go for the best products available, um, organic, bio, or search for the companies that are consciously um, creating their products for the kids. They cost a little bit more, but it's worth it. And finally, the third thing is, we feed the kids on, an, on the clock, by schedule. Every two hours, every three hours, when they're a baby, we wake them up at night to feed them. Well, that's how I was told. Or when they are a little bit older, we chase them with food all the time, snacks or whatever. Children will tell you when they're hungry. It will sound something like this. Mom, I'm hungry and I want to eat now. When they're hungry, you know how aggressive they can get for food and they want it right now. That means they know when they're hungry. So if right now they're not hungry, or if they have a moment or a day where they, they just don't want to eat that much, believe me, tomorrow they'll eat three, four, five times as much because their growth goes in cycles and so their desire for food. There's nothing wrong to skip a meal and by any means do not feed them by the clock. They're not a robot. They have feelings and they know when they're hungry. Their body knows much better than you or any magazine that you're following out there. Follow it, it's much easier on you and your kids. Those are the three reasons why we discussed why we as parents feed our kids in the wrong way. Many and those three reasons will change your relationship with your kid 
when it comes to food and their health and well-being and weight as well. This was 300 seconds of life-changing wisdom. If you want to learn more, of course, check out foodtriumph.com where you can pick up the Food Triumph book or any other information you want. I'm excited and super happy to be um, able to inspire you to live a life full of health, joy, and meaning. A life worth living. Until tomorrow, my friends, and until then, keep on food triumphing. Ciao.